Hi, welcome to First Step Azure Cloud Services. In this video, we are going to see how to create a blob storage linked service in Azure Data Factory using Service Principle. Before creating this linked service, please make sure that you have created a service principle and you have the app secret in your hand. Let's create the Data Factory name and hit the Launch Studio. This will take a couple of seconds to launch Azure Data Factory Studio. Once the Azure Data Factory Studio is launched, you have to go to the Manage section. The Manage section can be found below Monitor section. Let me show you that. This is Monitor and this is Manage. Go to Manage, Linked Service, New, go to Azure, hit Blob Storage, click Continue. Let's give the name as per the naming convention standard we have defined based on Microsoft recommendation. LS stands for linked service. ABS stands for Azure Blob Storage. We are going to use service principle method. FS dev test east us2001. Okay. You can see there are nearly six types of authentication mechanisms available. We have created a video for each of these types. Currently, let's go with service principle. Once you choose service principle, you can find the account selection method is Azure subscription and enter manually even authentication reference method also inline and credentials. Let us see in detail one by one. First, let's choose the subscription from the drop down and choose your storage account. Once you have picked these two, the next you have to provide us the service principal ID or SP ID and service principal key are nothing but your app secret. Okay, let's go back to home key vault in key vault secrets. Here I have already created secrets for most of our use cases. You can find we need to take app ID. App ID is nothing but your application ID or service principal ID. Copy this, paste it here, then Again, go back to secrets, app secret, copy it and paste it here. So now if you hit disconnection, it will fail. The reason why it will fail because of lack of access to storage account. Okay, you can find 403, it will throw that we don't have enough permission. Okay, click cancel, discard the changes. Let's open the storage account in new tab. Go to storage account. IAM access control. Make sure that your service principal have required access here. We don't have anything. Let's create one. Hit add role assignment. We need to queue access for blob, not to file queue or tables. So search for blob. You will get four different mechanisms according to your use case please choose the relevant one for our use case we are going to take the contributor click next select members search for the sp name we have already created our sp with the same naming convention sp hyphen first step hyphen dev test click it select when you are selecting members make sure that you are in the as a access with users groups and service principle hit next this is an optional step we don't need to give this for service principle click next review and design once the sp has access to this storage account you will see the sp has storage blob data contributor one important point is you can assign the same at resource group level as well but if you assign the same at resource group level it will be more better and you have more control over it okay for sake of uh, simplicity we kept that in storage account only now let's go to our azure data factory hit new azure blob storage continue let's give the naming convention ls underscore abs underscore sp underscore fs underscore dev test underscore east us2 underscore 002 sorry 001 choose the authentication type of service principle let's again take the app secret and app id let's go here hit the current version 
copy the app id pick the subscription pick the storage account paste the app id again come back to secrets click the current version for app secret copy it and paste it here let's hit disconnection you can see by this time the connection is successful because in storage account we have granted our service principal the contributor access one important point we need to make sure here is that the service principal now have complete access to the blob storage with all the containers so make sure what level of access that you are giving contributor reader or the remaining two services okay so this is option one but hard coding the app id and app secret is not a good practice so how we can effectively do this you can see this service principal key has two options one is to hot code and one is to take it from key vault let's take this from key vault choose the key vault we have already created our key vault linked service pick any one of those so it will list down all the secrets okay so you can see that it is listing down the app secret and keep the version as latest and hit test connection so this time also the service principal id is hard coded the secret is dynamically fetched from the key vault secret very well and good you may have a question when i am productionalizing this or promoting this to higher environment how to overwrite this service principal id and secret name you can choose dynamic content but before that you need to create parameters okay let's go and hit new parameter so we will say ls param for linked service parameter okay ls hyphen param hyphen sorry ls underscore param underscore app underscore id okay let's copy the value of app id from here okay to here the default value okay now come to service principal id delete it hit dynamic content and you can see the parameter whatever we have created is available here by this way your linked service is now parameterized even if you hit test connection it will it will ask for the value here since we have given the default value it will take hit ok it will succeed by this way during deployment you can override the service principal id okay if you are going with this option okay now let's go back to the credentials method for the sake of simplicity i have already created the credentials here in the credential section i will show you post the linked service creation let's hit credentials this way you can see only the credential name is required then if you hit test connection it will work okay the reason why the pop-up comes because of this specific parameter let me delete this parameter because this is no longer used we have already created a credential if i hit test connection it will work because whatever the uh, details we gave like the service principal id and other information we have already overrated it okay you can see here so this is successful but still we have the subscription and storage account picked from the drop down we have to enter this manually so click enter manually once you click enter manually you need to give the service endpoint and storage account kind okay let us see where we can find this information go to storage account hit over you you will find the storage account kind here so it is storage account v2 pick storage account v2 come back to storage account go to endpoints in endpoints you will be able to find primary endpoint copy the primary endpoint and paste it here once you have pasted it here uh, and you hit disconnection you will be able to see that connection is successful if you want to parameterize this you can parameterize in the same way we have done previously create a parameter and assign it here so if you promote this linked service from one environment to other environment you can easily override it okay as i mentioned i'm going to show you the as i mentioned i'm going to show you the credentials created for this linked service but before that let's hit create to save this linked service okay you can see the moment you hit create this linked service will get created here okay sp so now let's go to credentials you can see i have create, created a credential for managed identity i have created a cred credentials for service principal with the same naming convention hit 
SP. You can see the type is service principal, Azure Data Factory Cloud, tenant ID, service principal ID, and the linked service, Key Vault App Secret, and we can see the latest version. Okay, so this is what the credentials that we have created. Even you can override this credentials during your deployment. Okay, so this is the way we will create a linked service for blob storage using service principle in Azure Data Factory. If you like this video, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. If you want to get more videos like this, please follow on to my LinkedIn channel first step. And you can find all the code deliverables into my GitHub repository, Azure Data Factory. Thank you for watching.